Today we're diving into building a modern blog with Wagtail CMS and Tailwind CSS. This combination gives us both powerful content management and beautiful responsive design without complexity. Here's our finished Wagtail blog with a clean modern design. The homepage showcases key content and provides clear navigation to blog posts. This design is powered by Tailwind CSS with minimal custom styling. Here's the blog listing page showing all of our published posts. Notice how we've implemented a clean card-based layout using Tailwind. This is our tags index page, which helps users discover content by topic. Tags are automatically collected from all blog posts. Clicking a tag will filter the posts to show only those with the selected tag. Let's take a comprehensive overview of building the project with Wagtail and Tailwind. We'll cover the project setup, styling with Tailwind, and content modeling for blogs. The key takeaways are practical skills you can apply immediately to your projects. This is an ideal stack for content-focused websites where both editor and user experience matter. Our technology stack consists of Django, the web framework providing our foundation, Wagtail, a powerful, flexible CMS built on Django, Tailwind CSS, a utility-first CSS framework, and Django Tailwind, a package for seamless Tailwind integration. Let's start by setting up our development environment. We first create a virtual environment to isolate our dependencies. We then install the core packages, Django, Wagtail. We create a new Wagtail project using the CLI tool. Tailwind makes styling straightforward with utility classes. How do we keep styles maintainable while supporting dark mode and responsive design? We'll use Tailwind's utility-first approach. Now integrate Tailwind CSS for styling our blog. The Django Tailwind package makes setup straightforward with just a few commands. We need to add the Tailwind app and browser reload middleware to our settings. The browser reload feature is particularly useful during development as it automatically refreshes your CSS changes. Tailwind integration requires several configuration steps, but the Django Tailwind package makes it relatively straightforward. The browser reload configuration enables hot reloading during development. Now we'll prepare to run the project. We'll apply our migrations so that it will create the database tables necessary to run Wagtail. Create a super user so you can log in and manage the content. In order to run the project, we'll need to run the server and Tailwind start in separate terminals. Now onward to see how the project is built. This is the high level structure of our project. We'll explore each of these components in detail. Our home page is built on the home page model. It extends Wagtail's page model with a rich text field for content editing and a max count of one to ensure there's only one home page. Sub page types defines the allowed child pages. The base template provides the foundation for all pages. Note how we use template inheritance and blocks for flexibility. The blog index page serves as a container and list page for blog posts. Here we'll import the Wagtail page model and rich text field. We'll define our blog index page with an intro field and set up the Wagtail content panels to display the intro field and only allow blog pages to be created underneath the blog index page. Create a helper function here to fetch all the blog pages that are live and sort them reverse chronologically. Then we'll provide the context to the template and include a new attribute called posts that contains all of the posts sorted reverse chronologically. The blog index page shows how to render the blog listing. First, we'll load the Wagtail core tags. Then we display the page title along with the page intro using the rich text filter from Wagtail core tags. We iterate over the posts and display the post title with a link to the post using the page URL tag and the post date using a date filter. The blog page model is more complex. It features a stream field for flexible content as well as tagging functionality. Stream field allows editors to build pages from predefined content blocks in any order they choose. Blog page tag will connect a blog page to the tagged item base model. The blog page consists of fields for date, intro, a stream field body allowing for heading and paragraph and image fields to be defined within it in any order, and the tags field. Here we tell Wagtail which fields to render as field panels in the editing UI. The blog page template follows a familiar pattern. We display the page title as a heading level one. We display the page date using the date filter and adding semantic markup for search engine optimization. We iterate over the page tags and create a link to each URL encoded tag. We display the page intro and body both as rich text fields. Finally, we create a sub navigation to allow users to navigate between previous and next posts. Next, we'll set up our site-wide navigation component, one of the most important aspects of the site. This context processor makes navigation items available across all templates. We'll need to import the Wagtail site model as well as our blog index page and tags index page. We'll define a navigation pages function that's going to take a request. It will first search for the site related to the given HTTP 
HTTP request and set the site root page to the home page. Then we'll try to find the blog index page and the tags index page with fallbacks if either it hasn't been defined. Finally, we return a dictionary of navigation homepage, blog index, and tags index that can be used in templates. We can enable the context processor in the site settings.py by specifying the my project context processors navigation pages function. Here's our navigation menu template. Features responsive design with mobile menu, dynamic navigation items from the context processor, active state handling. We load in the Wagtail core tags and define our navigation component with ARIA labels, create a homepage link and include navigation components for each of the desired navigation menu items. The individual navigation component, we load the Wagtail core tags, create a hyperlink to the page URL of the page that's passed into this component, set the role to menu item, define our tailwind styles, and highlight the current navigation item if the request path matches the page URL. Now that we've set up all of our models, you can access the Wagtail admin interface. The Wagtail admin interface provides a powerful yet user-friendly environment for content editors. Page hierarchy is central to Wagtail's content organization system. You're now equipped to build blogs and other Wagtail projects. You might consider some enhancements like adding a comment system, social media sharing, going further into SEO optimization. And remember, this code is open source on GitHub, so feel free to build on it for your own personal projects. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.